So, want me to hit one? Yeah, I do, yeah. Be a bender. Oh, good shot. Really good shot. Hey guys, I'm here with professional golfer and golf instructor Milo Lines. How's it going, Milo? It's so awesome. Air elbow there. <laughs> it's going well. All right, so we're here at Superstition Mountain where Milo teaches. Uh, uh, tell us, uh, we're going to get into shoulder plane and staying in your posture. You know, we see uh, a lot of people standing up in their backswing. Yeah. Why is it important that the head and the shoulders don't start changing their level and tilt and uh, like? Well, they're going to change levels somewhat, but if we want to maximize how much speed and force we can put into the golf ball, we want them to do it in the right way. So uh -huh. you won't see many really good players who are moving in this direction. Okay. What I'm actually doing there is I'm, I'm, I'm going into what's called right bend. Ooh, so yeah. most players, as they turn back, you're going to see them bending somewhat. Uh, go into your swing. Okay. And take a back swing. So I'm, I'm going to put this here and, and put that, so that's about square with your shoulders. Do it the right way. And then do it like the wrong way, where it would get real flat. Okay, so I think that explains it pretty, pretty well. Then on the way through, are you trying to keep the shoulder tilt either as much or more? As much or more. Yep. Great. So what, what's the solution? That's the problem. And the reason it's a problem is just, it just makes consistency like so hard to get back to the ball yeah. when you're changing it? Or what's the problem with doing it though? Well, if you bend the wrong way, you're naturally gonna have to go the other way in the, in the downswing. So you're, instead of being able to go into right bend, you're gonna go into left bend in the downswing. Cause it's, if you're here, it's really very few people are gonna stay in the right bend. Okay. So show us, this is brand new concept on Be Better Golf, left bend and right bend, what do you mean? And how so, is that different from right tilt, left tilt? So tilting would be, if I bent from more down here, I'm not actually, or if I lean from more down face, in my waist, this would be a tilt if I'm leaning from my waist and my spine is staying basically straight, mm -hmm. which in athletic motion, your spine doesn't really stay straight. It's, right. it's getting curved. Yep. Um, so bending would be if I'm bending from in my ribs, so you can actually see my, my pelvis stayed pretty neutral, yeah. but I've, I've bent. So bend, so stay there bent for a second. Stay bent? Uh-huh. Yeah. So we can see, so if I measure th this grip here from his belt to his armpit is about the size of the grip, but on this side, if I go to his belt, you can see there's this much more, this, th it's this much longer on this side. Yeah. And is that what's happening in the, in the backswing? That's exactly what's happening in the backswing. So you're, you're getting bent this way as you turn. Uh -huh. You're not, well, some players are tilted. Some players are, are tilting this way as they turn, but the most dynamic players are bending. Okay, so most people, when they hear like, oh, the backswing is a turn, they're getting the turn part, but they're getting no bend. Exactly. Okay. I'm one of those players. So uh, let me show you my before swing, so to speak. I struggle with this, uh, Milo, where I'm going this way. Yes. So generally what I see from players who struggle with it is posture that looks more like this, where they've got kind of a sway back, the belt line's too down. So at a dress, it starts right there. It starts right here. Yeah. So they've got too much rigidity here. And so naturally when they go to move, mm -hmm. they move like yeah. that. Players that have an easier time bending and turning are going to have more of a relaxed posture where their spine's in a little bit of flexion already. So they're, they're, they're not That's here. extension. This is extension. Yeah. And so they're more, a little more in flexion. So it's easy to go from this to bending. Oh, okay. Really imp almost impossible to go from this to bending. It's too much. It's can't yeah, do you, it. You would have to go like this and then start curving as you're, yes. yeah, it's just pretty complicated. That's complicated motion. All right, so I'm gonna hit some uh, Milo, and what is like the main thought or drill that you have people do to stay to keep from getting flat shoulders and kind of standing up? So I'll have I use sticks a lot. You I'll can use see actually when I'm doing that, I'm actually getting left side bend. Oh, right side bend. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right side bend, left side extension. Yeah. Where I should be getting exactly right side extension, left side bend. Okay, so you use sticks. I'll use sticks and shafts and pull noodles, things that I can put in the ground to 
show them how to how to turn correctly. All right, so let's do that a little bit. So this is a good setup that people should can build. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Just two shafts. Oh, this one got broken somehow. Pull noodle. Yep. You can put it in the ground, kind of on the angle you want it on. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not quite right. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go here forward, ball forward. So it's basically just above your shoulder. Yeah, just above your shoulder. Yep. So. That's great. Right there. Okay, so normally it'd be like that, and then maybe. So do I want to feel like my shoulders are matching this noodle? You want to feel like they are. They, they probably in reality will t should turn a hair flatter than that. But and if you do, you can really feel that extent. I feel it less in the bending and more in the extending. More extending. Yeah. So you'll feel a stretch in your right side. Yeah. Yeah. And then just hit, hit uh, I guess, start with small shots and hit from here. Yeah, huh? Just like that. That was awesome. Okay, good. And then on the way through, then do you want it either matched or deeper? Yeah, for the first part of the, the follow through, I, I don't want you to stay in that posture forever. Okay. That would be pretty hard on you. So, but it, when you arrive at impact, I want your shoulders matched or slightly steeper. Mm -hmm. And then you can go ahead and stand up through it. Like that, right? Yep. Okay, wait. First of all, I gotta get my posture right. Yeah, I, so I, I could feel I was a little. Yeah, you, you tend to get a little like that, that way, yeah. too extended. So I would like you to feel like, yeah, there you go. See how you're kind of mm -hmm. slightly rounded off, a little relaxed. Now it'll be easy to bend. Yeah. When somebody says like, because a lot of times with setup, we hear like, oh, you want to be like, like a shortstop or you want to be like a, uh, a lineman. You know what I mean? That kind of gets your butt back and, and extended and up, ready for the play. Yeah. But that's not really a good setup for golf, you don't think? I don't think so. Okay. In my opinion, that it creates too much rigidity in your spine. Those guys are, are not looking to twist. They're just going to move side to side, mm -hmm. and they have to see what's coming at them. Yeah, right. So their head's got to be up. Yeah. Yeah. So more for, for golf, if you look at just standing, your normal relaxed standing posture, you, most people don't stand like this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Most people are more relaxed. So okay. I like more of like a normal relaxed standing posture, and then you just take that and kind of just let it turn down to the ball slightly. All right, so I'm matching my shoulders this way. I'm matching my shoulders that way. Makes it pretty simple. How does... And I hit this shot. That was awesome right there. That was there. awesome. Really good. How does... The, the way the shoulders work in the backswing then have such a, you were telling me about this on Instagram, you're, such a crucial connection to then how the sequence is going to work. Well, because for me, I'd go this way and then I wasn't really from here able to have a ground up sequence or a proper sequence. Yeah, not very well. So generally when I see a player who, who goes into right bend too soon, now their, their tendency is to go this way, so it's top, da it's top down instead of bottom up. Because uh. you're trying to get things tilted back down to the ball. Mm -hmm. Where when the player bends correctly, now they can turn their left hip out of the way, which actually causes their spine to start to bend the other way. Yeah. And so it just is more dynamic. It's exactly how the hitter's motion works. Okay, in baseball? In baseball, So let's get any it. hitting sport. Let's get your bat. We did a really, one of my favorite, uh, my favorite video that I did out here with Milo. Where, where's where's your your new one? I don't know. Wherever it got put. Right there. Back in the bag. Okay, so so get out there. And Barry Bonds had a cool video talking talking about this. But um, show me how how the bending works in a baseball swing and how we can. So as a batter loads, you can see here my body's actually bent this way. Uh huh. So I load. And then when I change directions, when my hip starts to push out of the way, now I'm bent the other way. So it goes from here to here. And that's one of the big things that helps you get the bat or the club to shallow is how you bend. So when a batter loads, they load like this. Oh yeah. 
Uh -huh. And so I'm actually bent this way. So and th as, the, as they're making the stride and they're, uh, this crunching here, is that just something they're, they're doing or is that actually get, then going to be able to then like make some power? Or it makes a lot of power. It's a okay. dynamic movement. Uh -huh. So when I go from loaded here and go to unload it, it activates a bunch of different muscles and some... I'm not real, a real expert on anatomy, but there's a thing called fascia. Uh -huh. And when you load your fascia and you unload it, it helps you be able to sling things a lot faster. Oh, okay. And our bodies are built with muscles that go across us in diagonals. Mm -hmm. So we, our bodies basically work in a spiral mm -hmm. for speed. And so, and you see it in everything, even running. When a guy runs, if you actually look at them, you'll see their spine bending back and forth. So you, when, they, when this foot plants, their spine will be, on this, be bent this way, and then it'll go back that way. Oh, as they're running the... You'll actually see the bending happening. Oh, that's cool. It, it creates a dynamic. So yeah, they're, they're spiraling like that the like whole time. That. Now, how is this different? Because when I went to my swing, which has all the 3D, uh, you know, sensors all over the body, they were saying, the, the guy there was saying one of the, one of the, the main difference that he sees in that system between pros and, and bad players was that um, bad players are doing this thing he calls swimming, which is basically when the spine's going like this on the way back like it's it's like and you know kind of looks like that where the, the hips go this way and the, the hips go that way kind of okay now like i get that. what he's what he's talking yeah, yeah. about so, so what yeah. bad players they don't know how to they don't put pressure into the ground correctly so so show us in a face on here face on this way yep so as give me a golf club <laughs> yeah <laughs> so when a bad player moves the club back, their pelvis slides out from under them in this kind of a manner. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that. And so there's no, they're not using, they're not putting pressure in the ground correctly. In no, no sport would I go hips this way, hips this way. So they might be bending, but they're not turning. They're not really. turning correctly, yeah. so they're not loading their, the, the hips correctly. So you want to bend and turn this way. Yes. Yeah. So what, what's a good um, what's a good e exercise that people can do to kind of learn how to bend better, be a better bender? Well, what you just did right there was a good exercise. Mm -hmm. Get something that gives you some some concept of how you're actually turning and bending. So I'm trying to keep this. Is it pointed like at the ball, basically, right behind the ball, right in front of the ball? Right out in front of the ball. Yeah. And then I would maybe put one right through your belt loops here. Okay. So slide that one through. So you have a, a reference of how your pelvis is moving. Mm -hmm. And so now you can see if you're bending, see how these connect? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. If they're not bending. Oh, actually they can connect here and they can connect there. And that would be bending. Yeah. That'd be tilting. <laughs> right, there's that. So and so, here. Oops, sorry. Most good players will have some amount of bending. And a lot of how much they bend is dependent on their body shape. You know, a guy who's built like Dustin Johnson, he's not real long legs and super long body. He's got a lot of bend. Yeah. All right, grab your driver, Milo, and show us uh, to take us out of here with, we want to see some extreme bending on your, <laughs> like, so are you bending, the harder you try to hit it, the, the more you bend? No, I might. It's, or it's usually about the same. And it's then probably about the same. Things. It's just more dynamic. Okay. And get set up. I'm gonna. Are you? You're able to hit with this thing, right? Oh, yeah. It's just too too tall for me. But so if I put this, you know, you got to remember, I'm a little short guy. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Here we go. So, want me to hit one? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Be a bender. Oh, good shot. Really good shot. So that was pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. This is, so recap, guys, this is a good practice station. Your shoulders should match this. All you gotta do is just put it like two inches above your, your, where the seam of your shirt comes together. Get the sticks, like Milo was saying, mm -hmm. that. And a final thing is subscribe to Be Better Golf. Actually, the second final thing is subscribe to Be Better Golf. You'll see lots of more tips with Milo. We filmed a, a whole ton of them over the last uh, two days. Perfect. And go over to Golfletics. That's Milo's channel. He'll have some content on there.
Awesome. Uh, breaking down these things in a little bit more detail. Thanks everybody. Cool. Bye. All right, let's see if my phone cooled down that enough. That should be a good one. I like that one, yeah.